Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. So today is day two. I promised you guys every day I'll be posting two videos. And if you have not watched my analysis on AudioSD and GBPUSD, you better go to my channel and look up on those two videos. So today, day two, we'll be doing two videos, of course. So today is episode three. So today I'll be releasing episode three and episode four. So I wanted first to do away with USD as the code. So I've done GBPUSD, AudioSD. Now we are doing EuroUSD. And now if at all we want to do a top, uh, to do a, like analysis on EuroUSD, furthermore, like um, we are on March 2nd, uh, not March, we are on May 2nd. So it's a new month. So we need to do a top down analysis so that we get a clear picture. And I'm loving the comments. Everyone who is saying, oh, they have been analyzing and we have the same uh, results. Thank you for encouraging me in the comments. Make sure you comment, make sure you like this video, make sure you share it. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Make sure you subscribe. Don't watch without subscribing. So guys, let's go to monthly time frame. Euro USD. By the way, I have seen a very, very unique feature with Euro USD. And I'm here to share with you guys because again, I am ready to share the information even if it's for free. For everyone who cannot afford my mentorship program, which I charge $400 to enjoy in this month of May. The month of May in my class, I'm calling it class of revelation. I'm ready to reveal this Forex secret to everyone. So if you're determined to be revealed, if you're determined to have that revelation, even in a new way of analyzing, make sure you plug in on these episodes. They will really, really help you. So when I was doing monthly time frame, when I was alone, I got to understand that we have a possible double bottom. And this possible double bottom is a one candle double bottom. Can you notice the red candle on the monthly time frame? This one candle double bottom, like this one candle support is very powerful in the market. Whenever you see this one candle and then the market just go on, just notice or just know is the footprint of the banks and the institutional and the big boys. This is where they'll put their orders. And you can see the market came back and tapped all those uh, orders and then the market shoot high. So this one candle support, it is very important. So this one, it is our possible double bottom. And we are analyzing monthly guys, this is a possible double bottom. So the next thing that we need from this chart is to get the neckline. Let us get the neckline. So the neckline, of course, is your highest point from the first attempt. These ones I teach in the mentorship program in detail. So guys, I'll just go straight to the analysis. So we have possible double bottom. We have the neckline. And the next thing guys will do is to measure the half. So basically, from my view and what the structure is giving, because I told you, when you go to monthly, you need to check three things. First of all, we check the price action. Guys, like I'll call, I will always say this in my all these videos. And by the way, if you're not aware, I'll be uploading 60 videos and I've already done two. And now this is the third one. So price action, price action. So we have the price action. Number two, we have the, the market structure. Market structure. Then number three, we have the Forex pattern. So these are some of the things that you'll be watching when you're doing top-down analysis, Forex pattern. So you can see that if at all we start with price action, price action is the last candle. How did the last candle close? So Euro USD, we can see that the market had consolidated for three months, one, two, three, but the market was able to close above. Like if you do WBB on this, like buyers were a bit more even stronger than last month. And you see we have WBB there. So according to price action, the last candle, it's a bullish uh, candle. This is a bullish candle. It's a momentum candle. It's not a bullish engulf, but a bullish momentum candle. And this makes the difference because 
it is clear that buyers are stronger from the monthly perspective. And us having a possible double bottom is good because this double bottom promotes a buy. The candle that was uh, printed last month on April, it's a buy. So let's go to the market structure. The market structure of this uh, Euro USD, you can see the market structure of Euro USD, uh, it has been a downtrend. So if we check it very well, the market was going down, making high, uh, high, uh, low highs and, and low lows, low highs and low lows, low highs and low lows. But there's something that happened. Even if it's a downtrend, this downtrend is a change of character. Guys, if you can see carefully, the market is, is a downtrend, but we can see buyers are willing, more than willing. And you can see for the first time we get a high low for the first time we get a high low and I will be teaching these high highs and high lows. I know many people may not be familiar with what I'm saying. So if this is our low, this is our high low, meaning that sellers are not in control. And if this is our high, this is our high high, meaning our buyers are in control. So from the market structure, still buyers are taking it. Price action, bullish momentum candle. Market structure, we have a change of character. The market is going on an upside. Even if we can see the market has been trending down, we can see break of structure, meaning the buyers are in control at this moment. Forex pattern is what we have said. Forex pattern is a double bottom on a, a double bottom. And then this double bottom has given us an entry already. It gave us when we got this bullish end gap. You see, there's a strategy of getting in when you got this bullish engulf or WBB because you got a green candle, you place a box and this could be your entry. So uh, in the month of December, that's when you were told to buy EURUSD. So if you bought in the month of December to now, you'll have made 717 pips. And according to, to double bottom, the structure should go all the way to 1.2871. I'm not saying it will go to next week or, or next month. It can take years. It can take one, two, three years. I don't know. But according to structure, this market will pull out up, up to 1.28. And that is 1,889 pips. From monthly perspective, we are convinced that we are on a buy market. Let's go to weekly time frame. Let's go to weekly time frame. So everything changes when you go to weekly time frame. And this is what I tell people. Even if on monthly, there is a buy opportunity. On weekly, so many things are going on. And let me tell you one of it. You can see on weekly, we have this possible double top. And this makes the difference. Because on weekly, uh, on weekly market, we have had attempt of the market tempting to break this resistance and it cannot break it. Can you see this resistance? They attempted once and now they have attempted again. And when you start seeing a resistance that cannot be broken, it will not be an easy trade on the upside. And then this double top, this possible double top, there's something that I teach in my class. And I, I think I can even tell you guys, this double top, if we check very well, it's a double top on a downtrend market. I tell my student, whenever you get a double top on a downtrend market, that double top is easier to trade it because any double top promotes a sell. If you have a double top in the market, it is promoting a sell. Downtrend, we are looking for sell, you see. So if you have a double top on downtrend, it's easy to sell. And like having a double top on an uptrend, it will be hard for that trade because double top on an uptrend, uptrend is buy and you're trying to sell. So this one, having that red flag that, oh, but then the double top is on a downtrend, that market can really sell. So according to that double top that has been activated, we get the neckline like that. So we have the neckline and then we get our half. So let's get our half. So our half, guys, uh, it's here. This is where our half is. So let me tell you, Euro USD has a potential sell according to weekly time frame. But if you are long and swing time trader, I don't think you will be looking for sell anytime soon. If you are long or swing trader, swinging for one month, two months, three months, 
your trend is a buy because of what structure that is there on monthly. But if you want to enter this market for just a week, let me tell you, buying is a very bad idea. Why? Because this market is a very good, it has a pattern. And again, this pattern don't trust it so much just because on monthly we are on a buy. So don't come with a lot of confidence. Oh, I will sell, I'll sell. You see, when a resistance is attempted one, two, and then the three, if this resistance is test tested the fourth time, let me tell you, it can break out. So out Euro USD, it has no clarity at, that, at this moment. We can no longer buy we can no longer sell because even if it is to sell, we need the market to break our current support. Can you see guys? If you ever sell Euro USD, because if you want to sell it, may let it allow this market to play out and break 1.0912. That is the best position you can be able to sell and it is 52 pips a week. If at all you want to sell, let's go to daily time frame. So if at all we have seen that weekly, we don't have a clear uh, picture. Let me tell you, you cannot even uh, go any other time frame. But for the purpose of analyzing, for me, if I find that monthly I was to buy, but weekly it is selling, telling me to sell, I, I, I wait for that sale idea to completely vanish so that I can come in. But for the purpose of this video, we are going even to daily time frame. And from, from the daily time frame, it's very interesting. Why? Because yes, we have a break of structure here. We have this break of structure, but the market has come and created a double top. So this market has created a double top that has broken half. So the, the important thing to note is that if half has been broken, it is evident that the market higher chances are it can come to the neckline. So you see, for me, I don't want to, to sell up to the neckline and the market now follows the monthly uh, signal of buy. And again, I don't want to be ignorant to buy and the market comes here, activate this neckline, breaks and then goes this distance. So you see, either way, the market makers are playing their cards well. They know, according to how retail traders will think, we can either we can uh, execute this trade in either way. They can sell it or buy it and they will, they will gain either way. So the only thing that you can do, guys, to be safe, the only thing that you can do to be safe is you see that that highest week there. For you to, to buy Euro USD, we want first to get rid of, um, we get rid of this um, skull word, this double top idea. So we need this market to break this double top so if at all we need to buy we can just break uh the market to break that so the market can break that and then if at all we need to sell the market should break our support like that Sorry, guys, I was saying, if at all you need to sell or to buy, you need first to, uh, the market to break that resistance, to get rid of that. Or if you need to sell, it needs to break the support. So don't allow yourself to be trapped by Euro USD because there's no need of you being in a rush. If you'll be watching these 60 videos that I will upload in the month of May, one thing that you'll get to understand is to have patience. Patient is key in the forex uh, trading. You need a lot of patience because how can even we flip to four hour? Remember for me, four hour, I use it for uh, an entry analysis. I already know that Euro USD is a buy. I already know that on the monthly, we have a go ahead of buy, but weekly and daily, is that is the only time frame that is dragging behind because we have this pattern that I need it to be violated for me now to continue buying. Once now I can get a very big candle like this, 
if they get a huge green candle or even if it's three candles that they will eventually break there. That's when now I can flip to four hour and look for entries because now I know buyers now have it. Or if I thought I get such a candle that is breaking that neckline, I'll go to four and look for sell because I don't want to be biased in the market. That is the worst thing that you can do to be biased. You want a sell, you want a buy. We go with what the market is telling us. So if this market breaks here, maybe tomorrow or on Wednesday or Friday, whichever day, if it breaks here, we know that it's going this distance. If it breaks here, again, it will be covering this distance. So for us is to wait, guys, and I'll be doing an update, uh, an update of what will be happening. So Euro USD is the only, uh, it's the only trade that I don't have the direction according to weekly and daily. But for those who are swinging, they are already on buy on Euro USD. So guys, I hope this has uh, has taught you something, uh, and I hope that once you're watching these videos, there's some things you are doing. Like take notebook. All these currencies that I'm mentioning, for now, like I have said, Euro USD monthly is a strong buy, but on but weekly and daily we don't have a direction because according to weekly the market might sell. According to daily, you're being told to sell, but it is a tricky position to, to be trapped in a long-term buy because monthly is the opinion month. And if it says it is gonna buy, trust that time frame to gonna buy. So I want you to be writing somewhere. Every time I talk about a pair and I analyze, once we are done with analyzing, I have like 10 pairs. We analyze together. Once we are done with analyzing, now we can start learning some secrets in this Forex market. So make sure first you get these videos where I'm analyzing to get the concept, to get the idea, what is the pairs doing. Then after that, now we shall discuss the secrets. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure you like, you comment, you share this video. Until next time, bye-bye. Love you.